most people in America are familiar with false advertising laws. And false advertising laws are just that. You are falsely advertising some sort of product or service. It is not about the false advertising of you. Because in America we have the right to do things with regard to the promotion of ourself. And in America we have the right to, to say things that are related to our life in the public sector versus our life in a very private sector of our life. Does that make sense to you? When I'm doing these audio casts, when I'm doing these radio shows, I am talking about not only you, I'm talking about me. When you promote yourself to a business, to a job, what are you promoting? You are promoting who you are in the world based on your fashion, your clothing, your hairstyle, but also, of course, through social media, people can see that. Last night, I reviewed the business card of a woman I met yesterday who tried to feed me. I looked her over, and she had no LinkedIn profile, which I thought was ridiculous in this time of technology. But when I found her on Facebook, I saw her photos, and I said no. I said no because she had a photograph of an animal that I do not feel is appropriate to be domesticated in America. And I simply said no, not doing this. Now, that's how her personal Facebook channel impacted my professionalism in a way and her professionalism as she earned it that day. Now when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about the fact that we had an exchange in which she produced a business card about her life. Therefore, the context of a relationship going forward would be about what she did for her profession. And she was very honest about that. I was also relieved that I hadn't been fully lied to, in theory, about what she was doing and what her name was, which often happens to people who live in the streets and use monikers to protect them from more abuse by the people we meet in their businesses. You see, right now at this time, I'm predominantly a shopper, and I am sort of a secret, secret shopper consultant. I am also doing things towards the federal government in terms of political consulting. And one of the issues that we have today is false advertising versus consumer rights. False advertising cannot be applied to a person's life. And what I mean by that is we do not have any right to promote anything going on underneath, let's just be clear because I'm on this roll now with this topic, underneath a person's clothing. Because here's the deal, people go through all sorts of medical situations like cancer, and that's in the cells. But what it does is it produces what? Sometimes a loss of hair. Why? Because of chemotherapy, which is a procedure to try to eradicate the cancer. But that procedure to eradicate the cancer of a person's life does what to them? It changes their appearance. It also can make them nauseous, physically unwell in a lot of ways. I know this because I have family members that were hit by God's choice of gifting them or giving them, depending on how you look at it, cancer. It certainly increased my mother's faith and it was her faith that got her through it four times. At the same time, she might have considered that maybe God is pissed off at her for some of her mentality, for some of her opinions, but that's just my view as a personal opinion, not as any expert in anything on how illness works. People like Louise Hayes, who wrote a book on this, might be better consulted for this.